Good evening, everybody. This is Gardening Warrior Q, and we are in the, um, I'm not even sure what to call it anymore. This right here is the indoor garden, but this right here is new. Actually, it's old, but it's about to be new. This is a mess. <clears throat> So what I'm trying to do is put that shelving unit together, get those buckets out of there so that I can finish putting it all up, and I'm going to put my freeze-dried, um, my Augustin Farms on one side, and that's only going to take up one little bitty spot because I don't have that much Augustin Farms left, and then I'm going to put... Doggins and farms on the bottom. And this is all going to have a curtain up over it. But those peppers have got to go, obviously. <laughs> so then I'm going to put um, some of the freeze dried stuff I have in jars over in that corner. Then I'm going to put my Thrive Life here. And, um, quite possibly on the next two or three rows I have here, I gotta get them spiders out of there. My kids see them spiders, they're gonna lose their minds. I don't even know if you can see them spiders over there in the corner. There they are. See them? They're just little garden spiders, I don't care. But my kids will have to fit. Um, and what I usually do is just get them on a broom that I keep outside and just put them outside that's all I do with them I don't kill them they're not poisonous they're helping my garden so these all have to be taken outside tomorrow and watered and fertilized that's my peppers both hot and sweet peppers um they were mixed together and <laughs> in the compost and decided to volunteer and come up uh <laughs> that's sometimes how it happens there's of course a tomato this is volunteer tomato and it's got it's got little babies on it somewhere um what I plan on doing with this is cutting some of them like this right here and uh, making clones propagating them whatever y'all want to call it and um, doing it that way but that's after I see how long I can keep the little babies alive and how many I can get because in Shed Wars because it's my second year um, anybody that successfully finished the last season which we're about to close out next week um, on the 23rd we are closing out the Shed Wars 23 and then Shed Wars 24 will start on October 24th so also the Mealtime Freedom Collaboration, um, showing how you make mealtime easier for yourself, um, begins on October 24th with the start of the Shed Wars 24 season. I'll put a link in the description box below for a few of the um, videos leading up to the 24th um I only have one person that said they would join me so I'm kind of sad but you can join at any time all you need to do is one be a member in good standing with Shed Wars or the global gardening homesteading community um and two make a video showing how you preserve items even if it's store-bought, and then use them to make um, meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, what have you, um, easier. Or make your food ahead of time by freeze-drying, freezing, dehydrating, however you do it. Put a recipe or an entire meal together, freeze it, dehydrate it, freeze-dry it, whatever you do. 
show us how you do it. And that's rule number two, and that's how you can do it. And I will post, like I said, the videos down below with some examples. So, that right there in the dark is uh, one of the tomato clones, the tomato babies. Uh, so, and this one, like I said, this one needs to get, Woo! I didn't even realize I had that zoomed in. Um, this one's about to be watered and fertilized tomorrow. I brought them in because it got down to 40 the other night and I just haven't taken them out. Um, and it's been getting up to the upper 40, so I cover the ones outside and leave these inside. But it's watering day tomorrow, so that's how it is. Um, this blue thing, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I've got two more shelves coming in. Now, here's the problem. That dresser has got to go. It's empty. I need it out of here. I personally cannot huff it down to place of stairs. It's a perfectly good dresser. Unfortunately, I have no way to get it out. And I put it on the free cycle. Hopefully, someone will come, you know, offer to come get it. Um, <clears throat> these are my water jugs. These are moving. They're going to be going on the bottom of this black shelf back here. Um, I'm going to finish putting these two shelves up here on this. And that will be my freeze-dried area. And I've got a curtain that I'm going to put around it. Um, oh, goodness. I'm so tired and I have so much to do. Right now, I've got to get this straightened up. Um, I'll figure out something to do with those bed frames. That dresser right there has got to go. My roaster pan is going to go on the metal, um, the metal shelves that are probably sent at the post office because they were supposed to come today. I got a slip saying I had stuff to pick up, but everybody had left, so I didn't, I didn't have a chance to do it. This right here is all my cooking stuff that's going to go on the shelves that belong over there. <laughs> and uh, somehow, even if it's just pulling that dresser out of here and saying, free to a good home, I don't know what else to do with it. Um, i got to get it out of here, though. It's I can't even walk in here because I've got all this stuff to organize my house, and I need certain things gone. Those, those are eight cases of wide mouth quart sized jars to go with the crowd cow that I've got to get jarred up and it's perfectly fine it's frozen I've got ice packs around it it's good um <clears throat> it'll be good it'll still be frozen in the morning the way I have it packed uh I still have some more Angus meats coming I just got a load actually two loads of my Thrive Life that I've got to get put up and do videos on. Um, it's just, it's coming along really slow. So I just wanted to give you all an update of what's going on here. This pretty much, this entire area is going to be moved around. That black shelving unit there is staying. That's going to be our entertainment slash game area. Um, and the printer. <laughs> This is going to stay the propagation station. That's going to be the freeze-dried foods. And the freeze-dried foods are going to be safe from anything else because it's going to be covered with a heavy... Um, it's actually light or a darkening... Um, uh, curtain... A room darkening curtain so it's gonna you know it's purposely made to darken an area and I'm going to put it on to the um, other black shelf that's gonna finish be going right there I only have two shelves so far but the kids are asleep and it requires banging to put it together so we're just gonna have to finish that tomorrow so <laughs> and then I'll finish what to do with this and everything else so, come along with me. This is part one of the Q Garden Kitchen area. 
Have a blessed night. I'll be back in the morning. You won't even know I'm gone. Good evening, everybody. This is Gardening Warrior Q, and I'm doing a very small haul of some product from Crowd Cow. And let me start with the American Wagyu beef. It's ground beef, one pound. One, two, three. And from Kagoshima Farms, A5 Wagyu Beef Petite Sirloin Steak. And a little bitty Mishima Reserve Wagyu Beef. Let me see what they call this thing. Flat iron steak. And that's all for the Wagyu beef. Um, the next thing is lamb loin chops. This is 1.6 pounds. Grass fed, raised without antibiotics, no added hormones. And a French lamb rack, which is. trying to find the weight how much it is and these are still frozen they were delivered at three o'clock this afternoon this is 1.88 pounds lean ground lamb that's one pound and ground bison I will put this and this and this together to make one kick butt meatloaf It'll be awesome, I assure you. Oh, and I got um, some sea salt. That was packaged with that, I believe. All right, so <clears throat> all you have to do is um, give out a special code for referral. And then you get free food, which is always great. Y'all have a great night. I'll put my link down below. Enjoy. So, it is now the next night. Um, I did not get to get to this this morning. And what I have done is taken the big white dresser out and pull the stuff that was in it out and I've got to get another shelving unit or get the rest of the shelving unit over here put together which of course I can't do with the kids asleep <laughs> there's those tomatoes at least they've been watered the tomorrow I've got to go get some shelves to replace this little brown cabinet um, I'm gonna get some metal shelves kind of like these but a lot bigger and uh, something that I can actually put the roaster oven on. Um, so when I'm cooking, it can stay on the rack. Which can't be done with plastic. <clears throat> and I'll still have to put a large sheet pan under it. But at least that's done. And I've gotten rid of two chairs that were in here. Um, that were in really bad shape. And, um... One of these bed frames is going back under my daughter's bed, and the other one is staying inside um, in the garden area, and we'll go into that later, because I was supposed to go to bed hours ago, and I couldn't sleep because I had so much to do before the guys come to take the stuff, and it is now 1.30 in the morning, and I am tired, so day two quite a bit accomplished in a very short period of time pulling that dresser out of here by myself just really and moving these around even though they're on wheels they get they you know they're kind of heavy and that one right there is not on wheels and it's got soil in it um so i think that's it for tonight and hopefully tomorrow we'll make more progress 
I'll see you in a minute. All right, so this is just a temporary fix. This is part three. Um, I've gotten the other shelf up. I've got two more to go above that. <clears throat> and um, I've got this area at least somewhat organized. Still waiting on the metal shelves before I can finish over here, which is where the metal shelves are going to go. So hopefully they get here. They're supposed to be here today. Um, <laughs> I got everything cleared out and ready to go, and I'm just waiting. And that's that's a box with lids in it. It does not have my crowd cow. Um, this metal shelf has to go in there, and the metal shelves that I bought have to go in there. So all that's got to be brought out, but I can't bring that out. <gasps> And figure out that's place until I get the pots and pans and everything put in that area. So that's what we're waiting on. See you again soon. So, the continuing saga of the shelving unit. And the revamping of my Q living slash cooking slash garden area. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so you see this big, okay, small, um, shelving wire, wire shelving. This was something I ordered, and they said it was canceled. I have not been charged for it. I tried to return it, and they said because I never, I, 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 I never received it in their system, it was canceled, that there's nothing they can do. I'm like, okay, so what do I do with it? Um, and they would not allow me to return it, so I have a five-shelf unit for free. Um, apparently it is dinged up and pretty much damaged, which is why it only has one, two, three, four of the racks. Is that rack right there is actually damaged. Now, the wire racks I had ordered, I actually ordered and was supposed to receive came today, this morning. They were supposed to be here Friday, and then they were supposed to be here Saturday, and then they were supposed to be here yesterday, and when they didn't come yesterday, I just got tired of it and put this thing up instead. Well, <clears throat> <laughs> these are the actual six rack, or six um, level shoving units that I did purchase, that I did pay for, that finally came. Um, they look a lot like this right here. They're very sturdy, and they're for my canning. So now, I gotta figure out what to do with these two guys, because just one of these, and the whole reason I ordered them is because just one of those fits right in here. I apologize for the background noise. My children are homesick today. So, just deal with it. Um, so now I'm going to have to take this guy down, put one of these up, and then put this stuff onto that rack. Now, this rack, when I originally ordered it, was for the roaster, the crock pot, and the, um, the air fryer. So, that was all supposed to go on one rack. Um, now I gotta, like, configure the entire space all over again. With very little space, because I have so many boxes. <sighs> the continuing saga. Today is Tuesday. I think the 24th, quite possibly, who knows, of October 2023. Um, no, 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 that's not right. It may be the 25th. No, it's the 24th, because today's the first day of Shed Wars 2024 season, um, which is October 24th, 2023, starts the 2024 Shed Wars season. So, happy first of Shed Wars 2024 day to me. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. All right, so. Now I'm going to dismantle, not dismantle, just um, clean up this area here. Because this is where my actual canned goods is going to go. And 
And as you can see, it's got everything pretty much except the kitchen sink. <laughs> A lot of those jars I'm going to keep down there because I'm going to use those for all the meats I've got to do. Mr. Pumpkin is going to go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, the dried beans um, are probably going to stay right there because I'm going to do those soon. But that up there, yeah, that's a mess. I'm going to put all these over there. I'll show you that in a minute. This is my girl's chores, chore boards and their routines. This is Maggie's chore board. Her morning routine, her evening routine. These are her stickers she can earn. <clears throat> I've got some stuff down here that needs to be taken down. And moved. I've got stuff down there that needs to be moved, swept up, canning lids, all that needs to go over on the other side. So that's what we're going to do first. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, so this is the larger, what I call medium size shelving. I've got the bottom row has got the 12 cases of quart um, wide mouth jars. That's always my backup. That's what I like to have. I left all the other quart um, and pint jars over on the other area because I'm going to use those. And that's where they're going to be put back. So there's no need in, you know, changing that all around. Um... I'm going to put the other shelf right about here and then I'll mix um, I'll be bringing over my glassware my glass baking stuff and putting that up on the rest of the shelves frying pans cookie sheets all of that will be going right here I cannot put canned items canned food down here but I can put the canned jars down here this door opens on a regular basis <laughs> hi um <laughs> and so I have to keep I can't put canned goods over here because that will the fluctuation is just too much um this is going to be turned into nothing but my starts tomatoes and such that over there is going to be closed off and that will be my um actually I might make that over there my propagation area and make this my um freeze dried storage now that I look at it and think about it we'll figure it out anyways by the end of the video, we'll figure it out. Tomatoes in my house make me so happy. Tomatoes growing in my house tonight. And I gotta get the rest of the tomatoes inside. Those are potatoes and sweet potatoes down there. I don't know if you can see them. There they are. And rocks. Over there is my green pepper, or my pepper patch with sweet and hot peppers and so that's why I said I might just make that the propagation area but I'm gonna have to do something to keep the entertainment and printing station clean we'll figure it out I got a lot of work to do in other words oh there's another thing of jars oh boy I'm gonna fill them up all right I'll be right back all right, so that's where the pots will go, the pots and pans. And I'm going to put another layer there 
for my mixing stuff and then I'm gonna wrap up some gifts tomorrow and put them up there because that's where they're gonna go so you'll see that later I'll be right back that's my glassware sheet pans will go there I just gotta figure out where I put them they're somewhere in the house oh I found them all right <laughs> Oh, goodness. Alrighty then. The griddle back there, that reusable Walmart bag is to keep it safe. I've got separators in between my pot, my uh, pans, and I'm going to put some in my pots as well. Alright, I'll be back. Oh, it is finished. Well, kind of. Nice, neat, and organized. I'll give you a weekly update now. <laughs> Not really. Um, I am going to put some planters here to protect these jars from that dog, wherever he's gone. Usually he's video bombing me. <laughs> Who knows where he's at? He may have gone to bed with the girls. Said, I'm done with your foolishness, foolishness Grandma. I'm done. Now. I said it is finished. Sort of. I've got some mystery packages in a box in my daughter's room. All taped up so she can't get into it. She's probably driving her crazy. And tomorrow, Savannah and I will be wrapping those items and putting them up there. And seeing how long it takes the girls to realize that there are gifts up there. Now, there's a hint that's going to go right there. Give me just a minute. So, <clears throat> can y'all figure out what Mama got the girls? Yeah, we're going to learn how to make bread. Now, this is not, not electric green mill for a very good reason. If we have no electricity... Then how are we going to make bread? Well, I'm working on a way to cook it without electricity. If anybody's got a good idea, let me know. But that way, it'll take no electricity to do this. Plus, it attaches to the table, and I don't have any outlets close enough to my table where I can safely run a green mill. So these girls are going to learn how to do it the hard way. And I do have an electric kitchen aid that I got the girls when it was Amazon Prime Day. It was a good price. So that's what's going to go in the packages. Up here. Stay tuned. <laughs> 